Hi, it's Dan from Chase and Bones Inspectors and Surf. Hello, guys. This is the bunkhouse that we'd like to investigate. Of course, we can't because it'll be locked, but we will be investigating right in this area. But I just want to show you what it looked like. This is the old, the old bunkhouse. And each one of these little things was a bed uh, for sleepers. And this is the old horse basin and uh, some more, more sleeping quarters and the old wood furnace. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 24 people would, would live in here at a time. Anyway, this is the old, the old bunkhouse. This is a uh, bunkhouse number one. Well, people probably often shared beds. So probably a lot more than 24. But at any rate, there's 24 beds. Oh yeah? So let's move on. And this is the old cookhouse. We'll take a quick little walk around. This is where they did the stationery. And there's your serving tables, see? There's a wood stove here. There's an old six-pot cooker and the old stove. Uh, McClary London stove. Oh, look at it. He's still got a name right there. Look at that. Anyway, this was the old cook stove. That's why they put the coffee pots on. Put those grates. And there's all your cooktops and your flat cooker. And they made these the guy in the metal shop next door made these now look at here some old bills huh, 1988 oh from 1988 look oh here we'll turn it this way <laughs> anyway uh after they stopped logging here they turned it into like a little museum and people would come here and they'd cook, used to cook meals here and stuff for people to uh, to come. And here's the the other part of the cooking kitchen. And the old wooden sink, see? And there's the drying rack. And this plug here would drain the sink right here. And all these cook stoves back here. I don't see it like that anymore. There are a whole bunch of old bills still sitting here. Huh. Hi. Hi. How are you? Very good, thank you. See, so what's that say? It says logging camp operation 1905 for 60 men. There's the Huh. Very cool. So there's the there you go, nineteen oh six. They that those are people that worked here in nineteen oh six. Is that crazy or what? Look at that. These are new. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been refurbished so that they can got a couple fluorescent lights. We got a couple Ceiling fluorescent fan. lights and that just to you know, those like that, that, that's new, that, that's not, that hasn't been here since. No. <laughs> but, there's the old uh, coat hanger, there's a piece of wood. <laughs> anyway, I, that's a, this is a pretty cool area, so I thought I'd show you this. Here we are. No, you can say hi, don't run. Oh, no, 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 I, was, I thought you were taking the video of the desk, I was trying to get all the shot. <laughs> this is the old foreman's quarters. So you can see they got their desk and they got all this. And there's only four bunks here because it was the boss, the boss's aide, the foreman, and the foreman's aide. Um, and that's what this was. And they had four cutting crews, so these crews worked together. And all they had was an old barrel, an old wood barrel uh, stove. So, so that would heat up the area? I would heat this place up like crazy. 
Anyway, then there's another desk here and another desk there. So, yeah. Oh, and there's the last one. So, the fourth desk. But, yeah, there was always four foremans, and each one of them would have their own desk, so. Just saying, uh, that, that one belonged to the head honcho. That was the head honcho there. That was the big boss's desk right there. Yeah. And then these three were... This would have been a foreman and a foreman's helper. And that would have been the other foreman for the big boss. Because back then, stature meant you, you had your own desk by a window. This guy was a slug. <laughs> And this, of course, I don't know if we can actually see in there, but this was the, uh, the blacksmith shop. Can't really see, and we can't get inside this one. There's many, too many tools in there. Anyway, that was the blacksmith shop. And over there, that's the stables. That's where Kelly's going to be tonight. I gotta tell you, she's a little bit apprehensive, but we'll, don't worry, we'll have an eye on her. So, anyway, that's this area for now. There's surf over there. All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. It's the last interesting building. Uh, a lot of people probably don't know what that is. Shit house? It's a shit house. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shit house. <laughs> Ah, there you see, that's it, two logs, and of course it hasn't been used for shit house in many, many years. I think this door's a little small. <laughs> or you're a little tall. Anyway, you just put your butt down on this first log. Lean on the second log. And lean back on the second log. There you go. See? And do your business. Not a very comfortable shooter. Well, no. They didn't have toilet seats back then. But it sure did the job. Oh yeah, it worked. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you. I envy the guy who had to clean this up though. Yeah. Whew. But I thought I'd show you. Nine, this is what a 1900 shit house used to look like. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We're at surf spot for tonight. I came in here. And you can feel a wood element though in here, so. Hi. This is Dan from Jason Bones Inspector along with Surf. We're friends, and I just felt a wood elemental. Are you here? Is there anything you'd like us to bring you tonight? Would you like some tobacco or some food for later? All right, we'll talk to you soon. Ending session. Oh. Well, let's see. Would you like some tobacco or some food for later? What? I heard yeah. I heard yeah too. So like I said, yeah, right when you said uh, tobacco. Yeah. They're just bringing us tobacco or food or later. Yeah. So I guess we're bringing some tobacco. So I guess we'll bring some tobacco and food later. What type of food? Uh, an orange. They usually like oranges cut in half. All right. Well, so that was interesting. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, yeah. When I, when I come here or do places like this, I like to put a little bit of tobacco. And you take an orange and you cut an orange in four. That way they not only got food, they got a drink. So, and they love oranges, anyway. All right. And then after, the animals, they're 
nature animals will eat up everything that's left over. Yeah. So you're not making a mess in the forest. Well, there you go. There's some advice for you people who want to try and contact them yourself. But be friendly. Be friendly. Be friendly. And uh, offer them an orange or something because, uh, you know, it's just being polite. Say, here, have an orange. It's got uh, food and drink in there for you. And it shows that you're not there to be hostile, and you're not there just to say, give me answers, give me answers, give me answers. You're there to say, look, I'll share my food, but how about you share some knowledge? There we go. All right.